What's going on guys, my name is Mr. Miola and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm bringing you another mod spotlight. This is the Ruby mod. Ruby spelt R-W-B-Y. Now this mod is based off of Rooster Teeth. You may know them as the creators of such things as Red vs Blue or Achievement Hunter. Rooster Teeth, very well known guys. So basically what this mod adds to your game is a couple items, a couple blocks. There's not a whole lot of game changing sort of stuff. Um, it's still not complete. I think it's still in like alpha beta sort of stage. It's only 50% complete as far as the mod post tells. It doesn't actually give a lot of information unfortunately. Um, so I had to do a bit of, uh, you know, investigative work myself. Um, <laughs> however, there was a new biome added just yesterday and unfortunately, I can't find it. I've been looking for ages and I cannot find this biome that has red trees. The Forever Fall Biome is what it's called. Um, but I don't think I need that to go through all the other items in this mod. Let's get straight into it. Um, basically, these are the four blocks that are added in this mod. We've got this one here, which we break, and it gives us Fire Dust. Now, I should probably tell you the name of those blocks. It's the Fire Dust block, believe it or not. The Ice Dust and the Movement Dust. So let's go ahead and break these three and each of them gives us a respective dust. So with these three dust that we just collected from those blocks, we're gonna chuck them in a crafting recipe and craft ourselves some ingots. First up, we're gonna have our fire dust here with an iron ingot, and we're gonna click here, and what we get is our rose iron ingot. We're then gonna combine our ice dust with iron ingot as well, and we're gonna get our frost iron ingot. And then we're gonna combine these two well-known items here, our coal and our iron ingot, and we're gonna collect our third ingot, our shadow iron ingot. All right, so these are the three ingots that we're basically gonna to use to craft our next couple awesome items over here. These three bad boys, these recipes get very complicated. As you can see, this here is our item, this here is our weapon, basically the, uh, the weapon that the whole show is based around. The main character has this weapon here. Um, and as you can see, you're not going to recognize any of these items here. These all have pretty intricate crafting recipes. So um, as you can see, there are six different items that the main weapon is crafted from. If we go and check out the recipes of those six items, as you can see, they're basically combinations of the three different uh, iron variants of iron ingots that we uh, crafted just earlier. Um, a couple of these also include some of the dusts. Uh, so as you can see, they're pretty basic as long as you've got the, I guess, crafting recipes in front of you, you'll remember that. But I had enough trouble just to sorting them on this grid in the right order because they all look so weird and different. Um, I'm guessing though if they're, you know what, in just a regular crafting grid, it'd make a lot more sense. Let's grab our first item here. We have our Crescent Rose. This here is probably the most badass weapon of the lot. Look at that model. It is amazing looking. There's so much detail going into it and it just looks, it looks incredible. Um, I, I've, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm, sort, I'm sort of speechless when I first saw this thing, uh, you know, the first time. Um, but let's go ahead and set ourselves up some targets for us to attack. Um, villages? Why not? Let's go and turn the sound down because they're going to get very rowdy very quickly. So basically the Crescent Rose has a, a couple very unique effects to it. Um, what do you want buddy? He's running away while he can. He doesn't want to die. Um, basically if we stand far away and we left click. Oh come on. He's going to pull us towards our enemy to kill him. Oh come on. Before it was working a bit better. So as you can see it sort of lunges at our enemy. Maybe it works a bit differently in creative. Maybe it does. Yeah, as you can see, when you're in creative, you've got a, a bit of a longer reach. And as you can see, you sort of lunge towards them when you, uh, when you swing it. Now, this is only the primary attack of it. The second is when we use left click. This is pretty cool, because what it does, if we are... Uh, let's go into this mode here, because we can actually see the change in the model. It turns into this gun, and it fires a bullet. No sound effects, unfortunately, but as you can see, it fired one of those... Uh, what do you call them? Like a fire charge, I think that's what they're called, what a uh, gas shoots. But as you can see, we get this new model here and it sort of launches us up and uh, sets stuff on fire. So as you can see, you can keep firing this thing and you can sort of use it as a way to like propel yourself around, uh, which is actually what it's used for in the show, I believe. It's sort of like a, a dual sort of weapon. It's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, let's go and put this fire out before we, before we set the place alight though. 
Uh, that's pretty much all for that weapon there. Next up, we have this bad boy here, which is the Gamble Shroud. Now, this one here also has its uh, couple, you know, unique sort of, uh, I guess, things you can do with it. I don't know what you call it. Unique attacks. Um, let's go and get ourselves some test dummies again. Now, what this one does when you left click is it actually pushes you back when you hit him. So it sort of like it knocks you back so you can sort of come back with another attack. Um, I quite like that because, you know, I mean, I'm sure you all know, let's say we're crafting, oh, sorry, we're, we're battling a zombie here. It's, um, it's sometimes very handy when you're battling a large amount of them to sort of retreat a bit as you're attacking, and this one sort of takes care of that. When you get a successful hit on them, it'll push you back and, uh, you know, I guess allow for you to come back at them sort of thing. Um, there is also the left click mode, which is, oops, obviously that wouldn't work on a villager, would it? Um, <laughs> basically, if you hold down the left, it'll sort of launch you back in mid-battle. So this can come in uh, quite handy if you're fighting, you know, a bunch of mobs or even like an enemy that's uh, coming at you quite quickly. You can sort of uh, move yourself around quite quickly just by a quick right click. And you can also uh, block attacks when they're attacking, I guess. So it's kind of like a multitask sort of attack, but it's a very handy one at that. Now our third sword here is this bad boy here. This one here is the Mertenaster. I may have pronounced that wrong and probably have. Um, as you can see, just a basic sort of white model. It's got nothing on the rose one. Um, that red one, that model is incredible. Um, but uh, let's go and check out the uh, unique attacks of this one here. Again, let's get, to, get, to, get ourselves some villager test dummies and uh, use our left click first. Sort of the same as the black one. It pushes us back when we attack. Um, I guess it's not too unique in that sense then. Um, and the right click, oops, again. Same sort of deal, except it pushes us forward rather than backwards. So um, I guess it's sort of like uh, you can propel yourself forward to get a quick sort of attack on him, which can come in quite handy, I guess. So I reckon this one is probably my favorite over this and the black one, because uh, I guess you can sort of launch forward and push yourself back while attacking. So it's sort of like, I guess you're thinking like a fencing style thing, you know, getting quickly, get an attack and jump back as quickly as you can. Um, again, these two here though, kind of interesting crafting recipes, uh, you know, based off the uh, couple dusts and ingots that you can get while using this mod. Um, but that's pretty much all for these. <laughs> this one looks like a fishing rod, what the hell? <laughs> And that's basically all this mod introduces to the game at this stage here, apart from uh, unfortunately not being able to show you that one biome, which is a big disappointment. I like to sort of completely show off a mod as much as possible, or as much as I could possibly, yeah, you know, as much as I remember to. Um, that's basically all there is. I'm going to keep an eye on this mod here though, because I think it may have a fair bit of potential. I'd like to see uh, what other weapons are introduced in uh, future updates, because I know based off these three models, I don't know. Whatever's coming next, I'm sure it'll look just as good as these ones here. Hey, check it out. That is so cool. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this mod spotlight. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like, favorite this video, or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. But uh, most importantly, and the one of all those things that you must promise me that you'll do, is have a nice day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. I'm here, I'm your statue, your heart is a magnet, I'm coming at you Girl, you're my target, I'm aiming at you You're a comet, I'm trying to catch you We can break any rule they ever taught you Forget about anything they ever bought you Cause me and you don't need a lot in this world to get by Plus you know I got you, you pull me in